Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to annotate images with ImageJ. I assume that you already downloaded ImageJ. Uh, if you have not done so already, um, then please go ahead and follow the link in the description to this video. Okay, I'm going to start ImageJ by double clicking the executable. And first of all, we need to make uh, some adjustments to the settings. Therefore, uh, I click on analyze and select set measurements and I make sure that uh, the checkboxes for centroid, fit ellipse, display label and add to overlay are selected. Okay. Now I can open the image by dragging and dropping it onto image J. And now I need to remove the scale of the image. Um, therefore, I click on Analyze and Set Scale. I select Global, which means that uh, ImageJ is going to apply uh, the scale to all the images that I'm going to uh, measure. Um, and I click on Click to Remove Scale. And you can see that now the unit uh, is given in pixels, which is perfect for us because we need uh, all our measurements to be in units of pixels in order to generate the primary um, object masks based on the measurements. If you, however, are interested in the real dimensions of the particles, uh, then that's absolutely no problem and you can always uh, calculate the real dimensions by multiplying the um, pixel values that we are going to measure with the scale of the image. Okay, now we can go ahead and start annotating the image. Um, therefore, I right click the second icon on the left and select elliptical selection. And now I can start by clicking on the uh, outline of a particle and dragging uh, my annotation across the particle and adjusting the width of this ellipse. Okay, now I need to press M, which opens the results window and we can see our first uh, measurement. And um, yes, in the first column, we have the file name, which is examplemage.tiff. And this is very handy to distinguish um, if you made measurements on multiple images. Uh, secondly, we got the X and Y coordinate uh, of this ellipse, which we just uh, made as an annotation. We got the major and minor axis length and we got the tilting angle of the ellipse. Okay, now we can go on and uh, annotate the second particle and I'm going to do it in a quite lip shot way. So this is a faulty measurement and now I'm going to show you how you can remove such a faulty measurement from your table. Therefore, you need to select the second entry which corresponds to the faulty measurement and right click on it and select clear. And now you can adjust the annotation and press M to add it again to the results table. Now I can go on with uh, selecting the third particle and pressing M again and now we got all the results we need for this image and this is a fairly simple image with uh, just three primary particles. If you have however more primary particles um, it's very important that you, for example, also mark uh, primary particles which are located on the edge of the image. Yes, that's pretty much it, um, except that we need to uh, store our results uh, for later use. Therefore, we click on File and select Save As and store the results as a, a CSV file. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a nice day and bye-bye.